thought our guys had a great presence defensively, showed a, uh, a toughness um, in not just the physicality of the game, but overcoming mistakes and uh, taking care of the ball and being patient enough to uh, get a good shot. I thought Zay and Blake were tremendous tonight. Uh, big energy off the bench from Zay and uh, boy Blake. Blake had one of his better games in his career. He was a force to be reckoned with. So uh, happy about the win because uh, Jacksonville is really good. Not many people will come in here to Swisher and uh, and get a win. They're a terrifically well coached team and uh, and they have really good players. So uh, it's a uh, a step certainly for uh, for us in our pursuit to get better. Richie, you've spoken highly of Zay and how he is one of like eight starters that you have in the rotation. And this with JV battling foul trouble tonight, his ability to not only play really good defense on Kevin Nolan, but be able to hit some shots when the scouting report says leave him open because he doesn't take them. Yeah, I, we think Zay can make them and we think Joe can make them. Uh, so I think that's just the interference from the from this thing. Like, like this thing, such a seduction, and we know how much guy, how much work our guys put in, and we're not stat sheet evaluators, uh, although certainly the the numbers have a a, a voice in the equation. But uh, sometimes those are just whispers for us. And uh, I think Zay's toughness is uh, his teamship. I think it's it's elite. Uh, just look at his gradual improvement uh, or ascension over the course of his three years here, and. Uh, happy for him because he's he's really making a difference in uh, in our program. Coach, you touched on uh, Blake there a little bit, but uh, double double for him tonight. And uh, is he just like a security blanket for you out there in the court? A guy that's been around for a long time, and you can just trust him. Yeah, I trust Blake. I, you said that took the words out of my my mouth, John. You you might want to start doing these post games because I think you could predict what I'm going to say and. Uh, and I'm going to throw in a joke about Dame because he's, he's going to give me some numbers next. But, yeah, Blake, you know, this is his fifth year. He's got a level of maturity, uh, not just in his uh, his experience on the court and getting through adversity, uh, but he's got a piece on his life that I think is bringing a lot of joy to our locker room. And uh, he could very easily go the wrong direction, have a sense of entitlement or uh, I'm not getting mine kind of disposition. And Blake doesn't do that. Uh, I love him to death because Blake's the same. And don't get me wrong, everyone wants to succeed individually. But Blake is the epitome of what we try and pursue, guys that care about being something, being a part of something bigger than themselves. Yeah, I will, I will throw a stat at you. Uh, two of 16 Jacksonville shoots from a three-point range. Uh, they're a team that once they get going, it's a rhythm team. How important was it to contest those threes and make sure they didn't get into a rhythm and get that energy of the crowd going? Yeah, I, they again. They they won a lot of games here consecutively, and I, I think I think our group and you you guys can see that you watch us play enough. We're we're better defensively, and again we'll be tested. Another the differentiation in the the p opponents in the A Sun is dramatic, uh, way different style and. Coach Driscoll's got a he's got a really good system. So uh, we'll we'll see if our assistant coaches do a great job in our scout and our prep. And we'll need to turn the page quickly because we have a two o'clock game. Thirty six hours later, we're going to play a way different offense. But I thought being able to contest shots and uh, and protect our glass was important. Is there a level of personal satisfaction for you, Richie, the the effort and performance of Blake tonight after there have been games recently where he's graciously taken on a lesser role so that his teammates could shine? Now he gets a spotlight uh, performance and a real big win for you guys. Well, I'm happy for Blake. I mean, Eddie, he's, again, he's a wonderful kid, but we got a locker room full of them. So, I, you know, it's, I think, this game 20. We're 20 games in, guys. We still got a third of the regular season in a in a really good league. So uh, we're going to need efforts from all of them. And I know it's a little bit of a coach speak, but I, I think that's the unique thing about our group. It, yeah, Darius gets tons of shine, deservedly so. We have one of the best guards in the nation. But it could be anybody. Like Colin Porter goes 0 for 6, 0 for 5 tonight, and you'd have never known it. He didn't look shook. He uh, And he contributed to the outcome uh, magnificently just by 
his steady pace. So I think we're all getting a little better and hopefully we can continue on that trajectory. Thanks guys.